Hi Sagittarius, how are you feeling today? Welcome to your solar return reading and this reading is specifically for Sagittarius suns and we're going to be looking at your year forecast. So what spirit would need to know about this year ahead, what's coming up, what they would need to be aware of and just your journey over your next year, your next solar, uh, your solar return for 2025. So happy birthday Sagittarius if you've just had your birthday or if you've got a birthday coming up soon and I'm wishing you a year full of amazing things and we'll get spirit to give some information about what's kind of transitioning and what's being activated for you this year as well and some positive messages coming through for your journey. Um, I'll talk very briefly about the astrology with Sagittarius energy um, but I will timestamp the start of the reading in the description box if you want to skip straight to the reading. So we have a relatively quiet Sagittarius collective energy um, over the next year. So we've got Sagittarius, uh, Mercury in Sagittarius at the moment, stays in Sagittarius for a longer period of time because of the retrograde that happens between the end of November, November 26th to December 15th, middle of December. Um, we've just had Venus leave your sign. Um, Venus was in Sagittarius October around kind of middle of October to middle of November and um, so we've got Mercury that will leave on the 8th of January it goes it's, it was direct it goes retrograde and then direct again Mercury in the collective in Sagittarius energy is really amazing for truthful direct honest communication um, there's a charismatic energy that comes with Sagittarius kind of blue, a blueprint imprint and this is a, a really good time for everybody in the collective to lean into their sense of truth and communicate with that and that can be on social media that can be um, in conversations that can be written but there's a sense of truth that comes through all types of communication with this energy and you could be picking that up yourself and um, you might have mercury in uh, Sagittarius as well um, yourself but it, it and it doesn't matter if you do or you don't it's the the energy that's within the collective that you might be picking up on or receiving from other people as well and um, we've got the new moon on the 1st of December in Sagittarius so we've, this is the six month cycle the moon cycle so your new moon energy of planting new seeds uh, thinking about new beginnings things starting again um, a, a clean slate, something fresh happening, something building. I do feel with your energy because of how the astrology is over this next year for you, for you uh, collectively as Sagittarius, your personal astrology will be very um, specific to you. So you'll have different transitions, different progressions um, and different things impacting you this year. Um, but on a collective, it's, it's fairly quiet until we get to the end of next year. We have the full moon in Sagittarius in Gemini season, as always, uh, June the 11th, middle of June. And so that's when this six month cycle happens and you have the, the culmination and the completion of this six month cycle. And then you're kind of winding into your next six month cycle. Um, but we do, we then go into October um, with Mercury going back into uh, Sagittarius just before the sun and leave Sagittarius just before the sun enters Sagittarius. So end of October to middle of November. Uh, 19th of November we've got Mercury back in Sagittarius so it's like this push of truth this push of, push of communication and then we have from the beginning of November Mars in Sagittarius from the end of November Venus and from the end of December Lilith which is the black moon and the 1st of December we've got the new moon so we've got both the both the moon, uh, moon elements coming in to your sign end of next year we've got the Venus and the Mars aspect at play which is kind of what Mars is what we attract how we take courage how we take action are a, a, a lot of kind of driven desire energy um, and then and we also have the the Venus energy which is the, the feminine side of the energy and it's the desire the creation the kind of the arts the collectives the romance things we love um, and really what we're attracted to whereas Mars is very much what we're attracting in so you get this kind of um, crossroads as we enter the end of next year with all of this energy um, coming up to your solar return in 2025 with all of these different aspects what you are attracted to what you're attracting in um, how you're feeling on an emotional level anything hidden coming to the surface a lot of healing around the emotional body there's lots of things happening towards the end of next year so I feel that there is this uh, this kind of calm before the storm this year so it's a time of inward it's a time of reflection of 
going with the flow, being at ease with everything and maybe putting things in place or starting to think about kind of your next level, your next journey, the next thing you want to do. Um, and then taking action when this energy starts to culminate really strongly towards the end of next year. So what we're going to do is have a look at your, oh, we're upside down here, um, we're going to have a look at your next 12 months. So for some of you, if you're November and month one will be November for you, and if you're December born, uh, month one will be December for you. So take this, uh, depending on the month number, however it aligns for you. And we're going to have a look at the energy around each month. We'll have a little bit, a look at a bit of everything. So we'll have a look at um, what's being activated for you on a spiritual level, personal development level, uh, relationship level, um, as well as the kind of astrology, collective energy, which we'll look at now, what's kind of the baseline of your next year. And we'll have a look at love, romance energy, um, a bit of career energy as well, um, and your pathway energy, and just anything else spirit really wants you to know for this year. So let's have a look. What do we need to know for this year coming up? What is the journey? What is the foundation journey for Sagittarius? Okay. Thank you. Third house messages. This is Mercury energy. So we are in your month one, which is Mercury energy, um, which I'm not surprised to see. Um, it's all about honest communication right now. You might be getting messages from people who you didn't expect to hear from or different types of messages from people. Something about communication. Uh, uh, I want to say new types of communication as well for you. We've got Saturn return. So this is karma. This is, uh, you could have a Saturn return. Completely depends on your personal birth chart. Um, this is our lesson energy. This is our understanding time energy this is how we get things done and learnt um, but Saturn doesn't allow us to skip steps so this is about really putting the the right foundations in place then we've got Sun spirit for your month three this is you coming into your own I do feel you're going to be working in the background at something not really telling anybody what you're up to and then something big happens towards the end of next year fourth house roots in your month four you could be moving. Some of you could be moving country. Uh, so we've got fourth house roots and then we've got nine house and ninth house faith. Ninth house is also about long distance travel. Uh, third house, short distance travel. Um, ninth house, long distance travel. So you could be thinking about something long distance or s some big vision of, of something. But there's a this the faith is really about leaning into your spiritual side. Uh, the Sagittarius energy for me is an extremely spiritual energy along with uh, Pisces. The two energies of the zodiac where there is this yearning for truth and for alignment of truth um, quite directly and we've got Uranus genius your month six this is like you working out what you want to do and then and then having this kind of moment of genius energy having the faith that things will start falling into place we've got Mars there is a ne end of next year is going to be big for you We've got Mars Force, so this is your taking charge of something, taking action towards something, having courage. This is a very powerful energy. This can also be, um, a, can be expressed as like an anger energy or a frustration energy. But with, with Sagittarius energy in particular, it's you take this, this, perhaps the feeling of anger and you make something really positive with it. Um, sixth house routine. So it's really important this year to focus on how you're working, how you're doing things, why you're doing things. If you're planning on starting a business, don't just skip straight to the end. Plan the steps, plan the steps. And you might feel there might be a lack of um, focus with around that, especially with Saturn coming up for you and um, being a prominent energy this year. But you have, um, there with Sixth House, this is about how you analyse how you do your work. Not necessarily what you do, but how you do your, how you do things. Fifth House Creativity. Nice. We've got earth element stability. Yeah, you're basically creating something and then it stables out. It's like you're doing you are doing something new though this year, or you're building something interesting. We've got Uranus genius and Aquarius, I know. There is an an intelligence that you're tapping into 
and you, I feel like you're inventing something, you're doing something very different, you've got this brand new idea, and but and it's it stables out. Mm, you this your moon and soul energy. So it's like by the time you hit your you hit your birthday next year, you are on this really clear soul purpose mission energy. You, it's totally clear for you. You 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 understand what you're doing, how you're going to do it. Um, the the one of the challenging things could be you not wanting to not the patience of taking the steps. But I feel it's important that you do, even if you have to kind of spread those out. It's important that you take the steps to put good foundations in place because there's no winging it. If you want, it's like if you want to get to way to this, this soul energy, this will deep inner knowing, and this illumination of something and this creation of something very new, it needs all of these pieces in place first to allow you to bounce and um, to, to bounce upwards. Let's have a look at the career first for you because I do feel like this is impacting your work life or your public facing self. So if career doesn't resonate with you or business doesn't resonate with you, this is more about the energy around your public facing life, how you're viewed by the public, your um, kind of wider connection with not your community necessarily in the in your close community, but in the wider um, wider perception of, of the world okay this is the first one yes okay we've got magic you have the power now use your magic to attract what you want into your life the sky is the limit so it, this really start thinking about if you had no limits if anything could be possible what would you do I'm just going to lift these up so that I've got a bit more room when I get down to the bottom there we go okay where are we stopping now spirit yeah, there's drama. Be, beware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. Um, I don't think I mentioned this. Gemini, uh, Gemini is currently holding Jupiter, which is associated strongly with Sagittarius. Sagitta uh, Sagittarius, Jupiter, Ninth House energy is strongly linked. Well, they are they are linked they're, they're kind of um, their family so we've got the ninth house coming up for you um but we've with this kind of with the gossip energy it could be this opposition of jupiter being in gemini which which is kind of the the gone bad side of that energy is can be gossip and um kind of bad negative communication so it could be worth being just being very aware to who who is your friend and who isn't your friend at the moment and who you want around you when you go on this new journey it's like you can you, I feel like you've got the luxury to totally pick and choose who you want to be working with or who you, who you want to be doing projects with and um, whether that's your own business whether that's moving job new life you may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective on your old job. You may also get a tempting job offer or new place. Something new is happening in your in your public facing self. I can that feels really strong. So if you're thinking about that now, it's a really good time to just get ideas, just just to be with your ideas, not even necessarily to do anything with them. Success. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way you're on track keep these little steps going because I do feel that it might be frustrating but keep the little steps going even if you have to do like a tiny little bit and then wait till next weekend to do the rest um, or do a little bit more we've got illumination something hidden is coming to light now you find out about new jobs opportunities and options someone lends you a helping hand so you're on this road where you are starting to see things clearer and clearer and clearer as you go through to see exactly where you want to be on this soul mission, this soul path. Doing the thing that really you really believe in, you truly believe in. Freedom. <laughs> that's exactly, that's perfect Sagittarius energy. It's very Aquarius energy as well. So Aquarius energy could be um, influential in your birth chart or it could be um, in somebody that you're close to or to do with this the work energy could also be to do with Pluto moving into Aquarius 
uh, November, fully November 24, stays in Aquarius for a good 19 years. So it could be, and this is all about tr uh, transformation, really just totally deconstructing the old and rebuilding something new, which feels a very strongly like your energy. So you could have Pluto uh, impacting you, uh, perhaps around your, well, no, it depends on that. It, it, it will be completely different for everybody. I was going to say, but perhaps around your 10th house, because that's your um, kind of public facing self. Um, but so and and Sagittarius energy is is very strongly linked to freedom and the, the want to be free freedom and not to be trapped or limited in any way. I feel like that's where spirit saying the sky's the limit because this is your this is your growth year. This is absolutely your growth year. So it's, this says you need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. And this is where you have this idea, this genius idea. And you have this um, Uranus energy also is very unexpected. So it can create unexpected sh unexpected shifts and, and it does things in a very rebellious way. Um, the energy is like, you could just wake up one day and say, right, that's it, I'm quitting my job and I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'll work it out. It's that type, of, it could be that type of energy. But really being very inno innovative. Manifesting. This is the second one. Manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. Yes. It really is going to be it's like it's such your year to shine this year. And we've got saving face. You may need to gain, grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job. Or you need to smile and make nice to get the position you want. Okay. This is with six health... We, with this coming up in your month seven and your sixth house routine, this could be having to like wet, say if you've got a business or you started a business and all of a sudden you built a relationship up with a supplier um, or a partnership, that there's gonna be some, there's gonna be a change in that relationship. But in order for you to get to where you want to get to and where you know you need to be, it is this kind of like, oh, okay, fine, I'm just going to deal with it for now and I'll, I'll come back to it later. You will sort it out. I, that feels temporary energy. What else for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? It's a year of play. I feel like it's a year of play. We've got protection. You are being protected from deceit and from situations that no longer serve you. Lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth. So where you've got something that that is causing a little bit of um, issue, trouble, uh, and this feels like it's coming from someone outside of your circle, you are being protected around this, okay? So whatever happens, and this is where we start going into this intense energy. So as we come to your month 10, 11, 12, like 9, 10, 11, 12, we are coming towards where, the, towards the end of 2025, where we've got Mars, Venus, Lilith, new moon energy, all coming together fairly close um, and impacting Sagittarius energy uh, and around your solar return. So the sun's in the mix there as well. Okay, we've got frozen. There may be a hiring freeze or no new work now. Being aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. So where you've been, where you might have felt that like you've been burnt in some way or really been put off by this particular situation or going down this route. Spirit saying gently put yourself back in situations where you can start having conversations to replace this su supplier or to um, maybe have, this could be somebody that you hired perhaps um, and you can't get out of a contract with or you've signed a contract in some way. I'm seeing scales um, and I'm seeing contracts. But you're being protected and this is this is the moment of pause because you need to take out this is where timing is going to be really important you can kind of go with the flow until you get to month seven eight nine and then you need to be it's all about timing thank you expression you need to you need work that lets you express your creative self you could do well at writing blogging or a career in communication <laughs> yeah that's what we were saying yeah Mm. Then this this could be an online situation for some of you. 
social media online situation that that kind of comes out on your brand makes things difficult um but it's really about writing the truth of what happened or the truth of how you feel about something not necessarily calling it out directly but but if say if you have somebody that is sending you um or posting things that aren't very nice or um in in light in in a in a good light on your social media pages it's like you then come out and say this is not right and this is how we're going to tackle it it gives you a cause to fight for okay and then what do we finish with this moon and soul okay we've got looking it's okay to look for better work be discreet in your search you need to be aligned with your life purpose to be fully satisfied this is this is where that it this is your life purpose energy we had that str straight up from from what spirit were giving us um so this is this is about looking for different opportunities where this is no longer a problem so I, this feels very solution orientated because you're doing your soul work your life purpose work in some way shape or form here it you will be shown the right doors you will be you will be given the right opportunities not all of them that you go for are going to be right so don't worry about no's don't worry about things that don't work out because they are absolutely redirections um no matter what they look like on the outside some of them are really not right they've got very uh, very dodgy underneath the surface intentions okay we are looking at love energy now so take this how it resonates this is the energy of romantic love we'll, we'll have a look at and this could be the energy that's with you from an old relationship this could be energy that's coming towards your energy that you have right now so take this as it resonates as we go through these these cards we've got clarity time to think about your situation to gain clarity so what is it that you want from a romantic relationship this is all about communication as well I'm going to move this up a little bit more because I think I am definitely going to run out of space for you. There we go. Okay. It could be that communication helps you get clarity as well at the moment with the Mercury energy. And Mercury being the only planet in your sign, which is quite significant, uh, where clarity is coming up here as well, particularly mental clarity, connection. Your connection is eternal, is eternal and unbreakable. You could feel tested at the moment. Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. This is when you're going for a new life. This really, for some of you, could be, I want to move country. Um, or I want to move town. Or create a new life. I want to start a business. And perhaps for some of you, you're starting a business with a, a romantic partner. Um, okay, what else do we have? Oops, sorry, that was definitely my thumb. Let me put this back in. That was, I just saw trust there. I didn't know what the rest said, um, but we'll see if it comes out again. There's, there is a, a real success energy. There's a, mo there's a movement energy this year, union. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. And we've got <laughs> we've got fourth house roots, which is all about your home, your sense of home uh, in yourself, but also your physical environment of home, success and union. So for those of some of you, you could be uh, like getting married or you could be moving in with somebody this year. And for others of you, this could be meeting somebody that, where you kind of feel like home with them. And we've got past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives really feels like a deep deep soul connection that you have here with someone you've either got the energy you're either in this energy with this person right now or you've you've got that energy around you from a from a previous relationship um this in this this life if you do meet somebody new if you do meet somebody new they're going to feel you are going to feel connected from the outset. Receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. That for those of you that are single, that's when we were talking about if you are, um, if you do meet somebody new or about meeting somebody new. 
this if you are meeting somebody new they're going to inspire you really greatly inspire you oh trust that came up that, that this is the one that flipped over before you may you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish if you are starting a business with somebody um this could be to do with that trusting somebody trusting their support trusting as well that when things go wrong you'll work it out that's what i'm hearing from spirit here okay and what else do we have signs watch out for signs leading you to true love if there's any because things go slightly unclear you're really clear for a while and then things go a little bit foggier that's not a word i know <laughs> things things feel a little bit more ooh -er. i know that's not a word either but it kind of describes the feeling towards the towards the end of next year so august september october november december and because of that it could put tensions in relationships it could make you feel that you can't trust somebody or there could be arguments or there could be just a little bit of, of tension and it doesn't feel like anything particularly serious but just trust yourself when you're seeing signs and uh, to allow things to move to move naturally together because i feel like whatever happens you'll be fine it's just perhaps just giving a bit of space and then coming back um, we've got marriage. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. Some of you are getting married this year. Definitely not for everybody, that message. If you meet somebody new, you might get engaged very quickly. Because you just know. If there is this just knowing that you're with the person that you are, are destined to be with. Uh, for, uh, for some people have that experience, some people don't necessarily have that experience. But there is that here for you. Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. There's two things that I'm getting with this. One is keep your relationship, uh, romantic relationship, if you're in a relationship, either at this point or um, as we go through the year. It's like keeping it fresh, keeping it playful, keeping um, that kind of honeymoon feeling alive. And for others of you, um, this feeling is trusting that trusting that fate will guide the right person to you trusting that there there's been something divine at play here and we've got the universe the universe is guiding you to that special person allow everything to take its natural course no forcing anything when it comes to love and not forcing anything towards the end of the year when it comes to anything okay we here openness be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships so this is really where you take an honest look and an honest approach to how you feel about love um how you are connecting with another in romantic love um this could be kind of a spiritual journey together as well oops going through a spiritual journey together and doing that through the relationship, like looking at triggers, looking at um, kind of behavior patterns, but very consciously in a romantic relationship. Okay, let's get just one card for each month and see what pattern we have here that we need to be aware of. So we've got organization. Yeah, get your ducks in a row now so that when you get to the second half of your solar year, it's going to be easier we've got escape mars pisces energy i'm going to get all of these out before i want to see the pattern the uh, energy pattern that's happening for you impulsiveness um and that's mars again um aries mars aries energy second yeah okay so we've got riches you do have a we've got success some of you are buying a house some of you are and we've got success on your career energy and we've got riches on saturn we've already had saturn and capricorn which is your 10th house energy which is uh, your career your public facing self which is what we were looking at before when you get to the point in january 
December or January, maybe both, where you just have maybe some time over Christmas, New Year, uh, maybe some time off work, maybe just things are a bit quieter, or you can go into a bit of a bubble and plan some things out, take advantage of that time, because that's what really helps you um, start making money. Okay. Quarrel. What else do we have here? A lot of Mars energy. Drama. Leo. Mercury energy. We're starting to see a pattern, aren't we? Oops. Flirtation. So your energy is coming up here. Sagittarius, ninth house energy, Venus. Influence, Libra, Mercury energy. There's a lot of Mercury, so this is a lot about mental and communication this year. And taking action. Acquisition, Taurus, Sun energy. Yeah, very sensual energy. There's a, a really lovely romance energy that's coming for you around here as well. And we've got these both for saying yes. We've got companionship and intuition. <laughs> this is um, soulmate energy. We've got the moon and cancer. Um, intuition and, and companionship. So what we were talking about with Cupid and lovers in the air and about earth element stability, all of this energy this month in all areas of your life, it's about being around the right people um, with the right intentions, people that do things fairly, people that are not particularly like harsh or, or um, try and create tension in relationships. This is really about being um, particularly around a close friend, a, a very close friend, a close business partnership or a close or a romantic relationship coming into fruition and, and they're going to be your biggest support as you go through what we know is going to be an intense end of next year for you so what have we got for the next two practicality moon in capricorn 10th house energy again and idealism sun in aquarius okay so what what I'm seeing here from an energy perspective, from a, a kind of cosmos energy perspective, there's a lot of you taking action. You taking action, you, there could be some karma cycling out, so you could come across some feelings of, ah, oh, kind of tension. Don't be put off by that. This is cycling out, okay? It's definitely cycling out. Um, anything where there's like any quarrels, any tension, it will dissolve quite quickly. Um, and tr like avoid the drama. This is all about you deciding what you want to do, deciding where you want to work, deciding where you want to live this first six months. And then you go into more of a mixed situation. And it's like, this is very extrovert energy and outside energy and action taking energy. And this is then very putting your boundaries in place energy for the next six months. Um, there is something here about your public facing self, about what you're doing for work, what you're doing in the public eye. Um, but tr your intuition is on point and very, very strong. So trust that. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at, what do I want to have a look at? Let's have a look at what is being activated on a spiritual level for you. Obviously we'll go for a different deck there, but we're coming here. What is being activated spiritually, spiritual pathway, as we go through this year? We've got <laughs> Saint uh, Germain and karma releasing. It's definitely karma at play. It is going. So if you feel anything that's a bit stuck, trust your intuition to know that it's going to be over soon. Move beyond drama, create your own path and make room for good energy. When you hit someone that is in this area, so months six, seven, eight, 
potentially they're kind of floating around here maybe and i feel strongly this is work or um friend group this might be some jealousy going on here or just some somebody that can't help themselves with gossip try and stay just just lay low on it and try and stay out of it as much as possible because it will blow over it's almost like they need to give them enough rope um and you don't have to do anything with it they're, they'll be their own demise um, but it needs you to step back and have a boundary with them and we've got Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. You have such a successful year, honestly. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. This is your year to shine and to be, to really feel like you are, you can spread your wings and fly in whatever it is you decide to do, in whatever it is you're doing, who you're doing it with. And we've got the divine director, intervention and purpose. This We've got that here with this, with the moon and soul. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. You are. You will be put in the right places with the right people doing the things that feel really solidly important to you. Okay, I want to have a look at some past life energy because of what's come up here for you. I don't usually get this deck out actually when I do the solar return readings or when I do um, any solar return reading, but I did for you. Um, well, spirit choose the decks really. Uh, so yes, this is probably why. Let's have a look. Thank you. Um, we've got flexibility, <laughs> um, exuberance, and let's get one more. Thank you. And planning, plan, 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 plan. One, two, three, four, five, six months. Well, one, two, three, four, four months. These first four months, keep planning. Machu Picchu, Peru. Plan travel arrangements. Plan your business uh, strategy and your business plan. Plan your um, spiritual courses that you want to do. Plan your your trips away. Like everything that you are thinking of get a plan in place for it you don't even need to write necessarily write it down you just need to know what the plan is um, and we've got exuberance so if you do feel because this is past life energy we're looking at if you do feel that things are really difficult when it comes to concentrating and focusing on actually taking things step by step trust that you already have this wisdom and you've already done it so you've got this wisdom you just need to breathe into it almost um and we've got flexibility, a prehistoric bamboo forest, Southeast Asia. So be flexible with how you get somewhere. Find the, the, the most direct route possible to get to where you want to get to without losing any quality. It's like a business hack. Um, and we've got exuberance, the roaring twenties in Paris. This is a year of play and having fun. Enjoy, 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 enjoy everything go with the, especially this first part of the year just enjoy spend time with people that you love eat good food drink and um, things that feel nourishing and good for you it's like just enjoy all of your senses this year and all of your experiences and um, like soak it all in like never before that's what i'm hearing from spirit which is actually really amazing okay where are we going now pathway okay what do we need to know about this pathway What do we need to know about this pathway? Oh, okay. I always have to flip it over, otherwise nothing comes. Deep freeze. What else about this pathway? I feel like this is in relation to down here. Mountain. You are not going to be able to move the, the um, mountain this is not about you moving the mountain this is about trusting spirit that thing you will be replaced um, not replaced replaced so that you can continue moving without any obstacles so when you do feel like there's too much tension with something or things shouldn't be forced use your intuition here um, 
just go into your own hermit mode, go into your own deep freeze mode, because you will be able to get through the mountain. You'll be given whatever you need to, to go through this mountain, but it needs, there's a timing. There's definitely a timing thing at play towards the end of that year. Um, and we've got magic prayer and balancing act. Don't stop wishing for what you want. Don't stop praying. Don't stop uh, manifesting. Don't stop tapping into that energy and being that visionary. Don't stop that. Keep things in balance and keep things in moderation, but don't stop the the belief and the knowing that, that it will come in, that it will all fall into place. Okay. Let's get some wisdom energy. I also want to get some action energy for you because you've got a lot of this action energy words of wisdom for you Sagittarius words of wisdom work of art be the portrait of divine beauty this is your creative side coming out some of you might be very creative when it comes to, to art perhaps but this is about being painting your own canvas designing your own life creating your own picture but this is the time for that now where are we thank you this one yes imagination draw from the well of your own capabilities so there's an authentic stamp to put on with everything and this is i feel as well what spirit's saying about using your your vision to keep to just keep it alive keep the energy of something alive Oops, okay. I want to get some action energy for you. What do we need to know about taking action, especially this part, this first six months of the solar year for Sagittarius? There we go. <laughs> We've got travel. I do feel like you want to travel, see new, pl see places. If there's somewhere you've been putting off, um, some of you as well, this could be um, spiritual travel. It could be like astral travel. And maybe that's the learning piece that was coming up earlier. Toth wisdom. Trust your own divine wisdom and the wisdom of life as you, it's like this, this trusting in adventure is going to really take on a, a whole new meaning for you this year but there is you are wise beyond your human years trust that you're going to you're going to unlock so much of your own capability and your own wisdom this year that you didn't even realize was there or you hadn't even thought to tap into and we've got Thor action. It's a year to take action. Fight for what you believe in. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Right, let's have a look at your personal energy. How should you be using your personal energy as you're taking action? How should be you be using your personal energy? Yes, okay, thank you. Straight away, there we go. The medicine wheel. Know what works for you. The Time Master. This is Saturn. The Child. This is Second Chances. So, this Karma is one hundred percent clearing out. Some of you could there could be a person coming back, um, or a reconnection with something. And you, okay, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, you're completing a cycle and starting a new one. Let me put this back here. Um. And we've got wind, which is mental energy. Okay. Use your time wisely this year. We've got the time master. Use your earth time wisely. Use what you know and be realistic about the milestones that you have. Um, because I feel like if you want to, you might set yourself up too high to achieve something and then it's disheartening when you don't achieve it. But, uh, and you're capable of achieving massive amounts. This is not about what you're capable of achieving at all. This is about the way that you need to just get things done. 
and focus. So use your time wisely. And that's for, for pleasure and, and for anything else that you've got going on. And we've got the child. This is really, this is the play element as well. Tapping back into your inner child. This is the play. This is the, um, what is it that you, how did you feel adventure as a child? How did you, if you, if there were, no, there, if there was no conditioning, how would you approach life? If there was no social constructs, how, how would you feel? What would you, be your philosophy? Um, but this could be second chances for some of you as well, because it's the first thing I felt when it came out. Um, and we've got the medicine wheel and middle world. This feels for me, you are very apt at dealing with different types of energy. Be aware of the good energy versus the bad energy and be very selective about how you look after your energy field, okay? Um, because I feel like there's there's a physical element of your life this year that is really positive. You're moving forward, you're being successful, you're earning more money, you're doing what you want to do for work, you're working on things that you really care about and feel passionate about, you're in relationships that are caring and loving and nurturing. Um, protect that energy bubble and know when you've been in a situation that has felt like it's been a bit do you know when you feel like um, you've been around energy that's bad energy and you kind of want to shake it off? That's what I feel here with the medicine wheel. Know what kind of medicine that is for you to be able to um, to get that energy away from you. That could be um, like an Epsom salt bath. That could be a sound bath. That could be any other kind of form of cleanse. Um, particularly around your physical energy physical environment and your body and we've got completion and wind no thinking about the past no worrying about the future allowing the wildness of your character to to navigate all of this having control of thoughts having an awareness of the difference between the mind and the intuition and your intuition and trusting that this last cycle which has been a very heavy karmic cycle is completing it's it's cycled out okay where are we going now spirit i think yes okay let's just have a look at the tarot for you and see what else we need to know about this journey spirit. thank you Okay, anything else for Sagittarius for the start of the year, please? <laughs> We've got more Aquarius energy here, the star. Healing is, ha is happening. Healing is happening and this new healed version of you is going, is who is going out into the world. Okay, um, but this is wishes coming true, wishes fulfilled. This is your stars aligning, soul purpose. Things are aligning for you in a very, very uh, abundant way. Keep keep your vision strong and keep keep that wish energy strong because they are coming in. Ten of Swords, yeah. You're see you're saying goodbye to these these. Uh, kind of to these communications to these the people perhaps that you're around or you've been around where it's been ten tense to deal with them um or there's been gossip or there's been drama particularly with sharp words or being betrayed in in some way you're at the end of that now yeah you're on your new journey and you will very quickly see your ships coming in more um Aries, Mars energy, or Aries energy, Sun energy, but we've got the Mars element here as well. You will see very quickly things happening and things starting to move the way that you want them to move. And when something needs tri trialing and testing, um, trial and test and then keep going. Tr trial and test and keep, yeah, keep going. Keep working at it. Keep working. Keep doing what you know to be right, what you know to be true. 
because it, it will pay off. It will pay tenfold. Oop. Yes, it will pay tenfold. And we've just had the Ten of Cups. Total emotional fulfillment. Have this for some of you. You this, this is the relationship element coming in. This is the um. So this is sorry. I've got a, a few different things at the same time here. This is for some of you moving in with someone. Um, some of you starting a family. For some of you expanding your family. Um, but this is for me. This is really relating to your your sense of fulfillment with everything in your life, your sense of fulfillment with relationships that you're in, friendships, family, work. Something else here for you as well. We've got the two of pentacles and the world. Yes. I love it. You have a choice right now. You have a choice and it feels like an inner choice more than an outer choice even if it's showing up in the real in the physical world the choice is you choosing to repeat i want to say like the last few years worth of cycles or to step into this new energy this new you energy this limitless energy and it's like spirit saying it's your choice whichever whatever you want to do is completely your choice but there is a wave of opportune energy that you are that is available to you to jump on if you want it but you're definitely completing a cycle here we've got more saturn energy and more um We've got more Saturn energy and more Capricorn energy, which is your 10th house energy. Yeah. Big things happening this year. Big things. Okay. Let's get some final words of wisdom to wrap up the reading for you. Nucleus, the power within stars is the power within you. Super powerful year for you. Super powerful year. I've run out of space completely, haven't I? <laughs> okay, what else do we need to know? Are we taking all of these? Yeah, okay. And there's one more, okay. This one? Yeah, okay. Any more? There we go. No, that's it. You are? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, we've got, oops. I want to read them in order because that feels important. Um, I'm just going to put them across here so you might be able to see them better. Um, new horizons. Old ways don't open new doors. We had that here as well. Um, the frozen. And we had uh, deep freeze. So when it looks like there's no way through, take pause, reevaluate, and think about how to open doors and look for the new horizons. So this is this is what spirit I feel like we're saying with the world, there's a choice here of either going, staying in the same pattern or choosing this new horizon. Love to the moon and back. Your uh, romantic love space or your deep soul tribe connection energy is very, very strong this year. There's a lot of expansive love energy coming your way or deepening even further than what it is. We've got reevaluate. In the starlit sky, we still look for the falling stars. So don't be afraid to step back and reevaluate because it doesn't mean you're not going to get there where you want to be. Um, in it doesn't mean you're not going to get there. Uh, certainly not by the, the time. There's a timing element here. So if you do need to pause, be in deep freeze, step back, reevaluate, do that because it's not going to change the course of your fate, your destiny, your um, your destination and we've got expand growth is often uncomfortable and messy but necessary this is a big expansion year for you a big expansion year big growth year big learning year but it has all of the energy of success of love of abundance of completely redoing your life and painting it exactly the way that you want it and there's a lot of support coming 
from oh, okay so there's a spirit want to give you one of these um there's a lot of su support coming from spirit just <laughs> as i'm split the deck we've got abundance and lightning this is the lightning is the um the sudden decision, the sudden de decision to move in a different direction or the sudden illumination of something. And we already, we had that, that feeling right at the beginning and we had the card come out and abundance, which is what I'm feeling very strongly for your next year. Okay, I can't shuffle these without moving more cards. Okay, thank you. Let's just see what spirit wants to tell you from this deck and then retreat. Yeah, this is, put your boundaries in place. Make sure you put your boundaries in place, but don't feel like that retreat doesn't have to be, that treat, retreat has to be disconnected. You can still be in this spiritual education environment. You can still be in this uh, experience. You can still be in a, a nourishing, nurturing environment and have your boundaries in place. I feel like this would be good at some point this year, at the end of the, your solar year, because that will be when you need to step away and not get involved in certain things and let things play out without you. Exploration. This is your travel. <laughs> your travel, your compass. You're finding your own North Star right now, your own direction. But there is something about wanting to travel, either move or take a trip. Um, and there's one more. Okay. affirmations this is where spirit said don't lose sight of your vision keep it alive keep it alive just keep keep those affirmations going this is also for me the, the chakra it could be chakra cleansing um that help you that helps you uh, perhaps be grounded or be um protected clearer of your own energy <coughs> excuse me especially in the throat space and for some of you I'm feeling that in my throat right now. Um, and to keep your heart open without anything interrupting your flow. And to keep your vision alive because it's coming in. It just is the patience for it to come into the material and come into fruition. But keep it alive in your own energy. Okay. And have some adventures and lots of play. And ex there's a lot of excitement and success this year for you. It's actually such beautiful energy. Really pleased for you. Right, okay, I've totally run out of space, so I will leave it there. Um, and I hope that you got some insight into what's coming up for you over your next year and some of the energy you, you've got right now, perhaps that's it's starting to hopefully make sense with what's coming up and as you go into this uh, busier Sagittarius season at the end of 2025. Um, have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year. And thank you for watching the reading with me today, as always, and hope to see you again soon. Take care.